Today, I am going to be showing you how to make your basic wheel for your Draxters on Tinkercad. This is the first step in the process of making a CO2 Draxter and the wheel is going to look like this, depending on how thick you're going to make your wheel. So what you want to do first is once you get onto your Tinkercad dashboard, you're going to want to click create new design. It's the big blue button. And after it loads, you'll see that you're on your work plane, right? That big blue square. So this is where we have to work on. So what we're going to do first is, of course, our wheels are going to be round. So we're going to grab a cylinder, which the orange cylinder is right here. You're going to click and drag in. Put it anywhere. doesn't matter where it goes. Right? Just a couple of extra basic tools while we're doing this. The top left of your screen, you have the view cube. Right? And you could orbit around your design to see every single angle. See the top, the bottom the sides, or you can spin it in order to get a better view of whatever part you're looking at. All right, so I'm going to leave mine right here for now. Also, you could use these buttons over here to zoom in and out of your design to get a better view of it. So I'm going to slightly zoom in, but I'm going to use my trackpad to do that. Also, just so you guys know, right, you're using the Chromebooks that have a touch screen. So you could actually touch on your Chromebook screen and move your design around, move around the work plane, click and hold on a shape to move it, um, adjust the dimensions, orbit, all that fun stuff, right with the touch of your finger. All right, so take advantage of your touch screen um, if that's how you prefer to use Tinkercad. Otherwise, you could, of course, use your trackpad or use a mouse. It's up to you. So now we have to change the dimensions of this shape because obviously right now this does not really look like a wheel right now. So to change the dimensions, we're going to click on the bottom right white box. You can kind of see it turn red as I hover over it and two numbers pop up, 20 by 20. We have to make sure that both of these numbers are the same exact number, right? Because it's a circle. We want the circle to be perfectly round. So what you're gonna do is click on that bottom right white box right there. It'll turn red and these two numbers will kind of snap into place like you just saw, they kind of moved. You're gonna hover over the first 20 over here and it'll turn red and you'll click on it. So now you can type in that box an exact dimension. So the smallest dimensions that it could be is 38 by 38, or the largest the wheel could be is 48 by 48. So the range is 38 millimeters to 48 millimeters. Right? And remember, it has to be the same exact number on the length and the width. All right, so again, you can go in between 38 to 48. So I will do 40. We'll do 40 by 40. So I'm going to type in 40, click enter, then go down to the other 20, click 40, right? We want it to be the same because it's a circle. Click enter. And now we have a different size wheel. So now if we really look at this wheel, you can see it's kind of rigid. Right, so I'm zoomed in a little bit more. You might have to zoom in to see the ridges a little bit closer if you're zoomed out, but right now it's not smooth at all. So we wanna get this a little bit more smooth or flat, right? So it's easier for the car to roll on the ground. So what we're going to do is we're going to increase the sides of the circle to make it a little bit smoother. So to do that, over here in this little drop down box, yours might look like this right now. All you have to do is click on the arrow to show that drop down. And there's a literal size, sides um, bar that you could slide however many slides you want or however many little slide sides you want. You could adjust that here on this little bar. But we're going to put as many sides as we can, right, to get this as round as we can. 
So you're going to move it all the way to the right to go to 64. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a bevel so we could flatten this even more for our wheels. So again, I'm going to move this all the way to six to the end. So it's not 64 anymore. It's 2.5. So I'm going to move it all the way, right? So you could see what it did there, right? So I'll move it back over to the left and it kind of rounds out and flattens the edges inward towards the center of the wheel. Okay, so now it's starting to look like a wheel, but not totally, right? So the last thing we're gonna do is really flatten out the edge. So that's what we're gonna use segments for. All right, it'll round out that bevel that it just made. So again, I'm gonna put it all the way to the end, which is 10. All right, now we can see it's very, very smooth compared to what we just started out with. All right, so I'll go back. All right, so that's what it looks like without segments. And we slowly get to 10, and it looks really, really smooth. And this is what you should have so far. All right, but now we have to change the thickness and add um, the axle part that will hold the axle together or hold the wheels together to that axle so it can go through the car and we'll have wheels for the car, right? So we need that axle rod spot, which we'll do in a second, but first we want to build the thickness of the wheel. So what you wanna do is make sure that you have your shape highlighted and you'll see that there's a top white box right here. Right, and then when I hover over it again, a number pops up and you can kind of see the dimension line there. That is the height box right there. So click on that like we did with the bottom right corner. So you're gonna click on it, it'll turn red. And you're gonna click on the 20. And the thinnest that you could make your wheel is four millimeters. And the thickest is 25, right? So that's a pretty big range that I'm giving you to choose from. So everyone's wheel is going to look a little bit different. So if you want it really thin, which is the four, right? That means that you want your car to be fast. It uses less friction, right? There's not as much material there. So four is if you want it to go fast. Okay, if 25, which I'll show you what that looks like now, is for style purposes. Okay, so if you want it to look a certain way, right, it might not go as fast, right, because it's covering more area, um, but you can do 25 if you want to. So I'm going to do somewhere in the middle. So I'll do, I don't know, I'll do like 15. There we go. So I just did 15. Now some of you are probably wondering, well, Ms. Dolch, you know, the wheels in the back of the CO2 Draxer are thicker than the wheels in the front, which once we make our custom wheels, we'll adjust the thickness again, if that's how you want your wheels to actually look. But for right now, it's up to you and how thick or thin that you want your basic wheel to be. So it doesn't really matter right now. So that's why I went with 15 for this one. So now we have to make that plastic that sticks out in the middle right here of the wheel. All right, so that little extra plastic piece that we're gonna make will hold the axle, right? That metal axle that I've shown you before. So you can attach the other wheel to the other side of the axle, put it through your car and your car will be able to hold the wheels onto it. All right, so what we're going to do is, since we're going to be working on the top of our design right here, our wheel, we need to move this work plane because right now the work plane, it's underneath this wheel, right? So whatever we bring in, right, if we wanted to bring in another cylinder, it'll snap to this blue plane right here. But we want it to snap onto the top of our basic wheel. So to do that, you're going to click the W key on your keyboard. So we're going to click W. And once you do that, if you move your cursor around a little bit, you'll see there's a blue box that comes up. Now this blue box is your work plane. 
So what you're going to do is come over here to your wheel and it kind of like, you'll see it kind of moves up onto your wheel and it'll turn orange. So that's what you want to see. So don't think you did something wrong. If it turns orange, that's what you want to see. And once you get it on top of your wheel, you're going to click and it'll turn the work plane orange. So again, if you see orange plane, that's okay. Don't worry about it. That is what is supposed to happen. All right, so now we have to drag on our next cylinder so that it'll act as the plastic that the metal axle rod will fit into. All right, so now we're going to drag in another cylinder and you're gonna place it on top. Now it doesn't have to be totally centered. We'll worry about that in a little bit. So now what we need to do is, again, this cylinder needs to have the exact same dimension since it's a circle, right? But we gotta change them. So again, you're gonna click the bottom right white box. It's gonna turn red and your numbers will pop up. You're going to make the diameter 6.5, click enter, and you're gonna make this one 6.5, and click enter. And then your circle or your cylinder should look like this. You could move it kind of towards the center if you want. And now we see it's kind of tall, right? So again, you're gonna go right up to the white box. It'll turn red, click on it, then you're gonna be able to highlight over that number 20 and you're gonna change the height to eight and click enter. So now it looks a little bit better. So if I rotate it right, it looks like a better height, right? That that metal piece can fit into. So now what we're going to do is make sure again that your cylinder is highlighted. You're going to add as many sizes as you want, right? So pull it all the way to 64, put the bevel all the way up to 2.5 and segments to 10, right? So this is smooth it and round it out as flat as it can. So it looks more smooth. All right, so now we have to put a hole in this, right? To make sure that metal rod can go through it, right? So there needs to be an empty hole to put the rod through it. Now we're actually not going to put a rod through our 3D cars that we're making here on Tinkercad, but we still want to put a hole in Joe so it's as realistic as possible. All right, so what that means is we're going to need another cylinder, right? But once we drag that cylinder in, it's still solid, but we want it to be a hole, right? We want it to cut through our top cylinder. So we're going to click hole. So you don't want it to be orange, you want it to be this grayish color, it looks transparent. And now it doesn't matter how high this is, right, because it's just going to cut through our wheel. But the diameter definitely matters, right, because we want it smaller than this little piece up here. So we're going to click on our dimension block here and change it to 3.55, enter, by 3.55, click enter. And you can kind of drag it over here so you can see what it looks like. That dark part right here, that is what it's going to be cut out, right? So you can kind of see the lighter part, that's the shape sticking up. With that darker part in the middle, that's what's getting cut out. So with this shape also, you could bump up the sides, bump up the bevel, and bump up the segment so it's a nice clean cut when it chops away at that, at that material. So now, if we look at this from the top view, right, it looks pretty centered, okay, but we wanna make sure that it's totally centered in the middle of this wheel, right? So what we're going to do is I'll move my view back like this. That's probably how you have yours right now. And you're gonna click anywhere off to the side, just so nothing's selected. Then you're going to click again. You're going to hold that click and take your cursor or take your mouse 
and make a dotted red box around your whole entire wheel right now. So all the components that you made, the orange parts, the transparent part, you're gonna make a whole box. Everything has to be selected and then you're gonna let go. And everything you could see has dots around it, right? Everything's selected. So now what we're going to do is we're going to align all of this, right? So it's centered. So you're gonna go to the align tool, which is up here, right? Or you can click the L on your keyboard. But once you click that, tons of little dots are gonna pop up. And I'm gonna rotate this so we could see it a little bit better. You could as well. So I'm gonna go to my top view. So what you wanna do is you wanna click on the middle dot on each side, right? So it kind of like snapped to the other side. And you know you did it right if the two middle dots kind of turn a grayish color, right? They were about black before like these, but then they turn gray once I click on them. Right, so the center dots or the dots in the middle on the X and Y axis need to be clicked on so everything moves to the center. Now what we're going to do is finally we're going to group this so we can see this actually cut into the center of this little plastic piece. So you're going to come up here and to the left of the align tool is something called group. So what the group tool does is kind of it glues all of these pieces together and then if there's any holes, which there is in ours, it chops away at the material as well. So we're going to click the group tool. So at first it turns red, so that might scare you, but don't worry, right? As you can see, if I click off of it, now it cut through that little part right there and it made a hole, right? So now we have a piece for the axle rod to fit into to hold our wheels onto the car so they could rotate. So now the last couple steps that we need to do is first, we need to move our work plane back to this blue part, right? Because right now it's on top or kind of underneath this plastic part, right? But it's on top of our wheel. So we need to move it back down to underneath the wheel. So you're going to click the same way that we got it there. You're going to click W on your keyboard. Move around a little bit. You'll see the blue right here pop up. And you're going to click anywhere in this little orange grid section. Doesn't matter where. And it should bring you back to your original work plane. Right, so I'll click back at the home view. You could take a look at your wheel. You could orbit around it, right? See how it is. Click back to home. It will bring me back to the home. And if I click on this and move it around, right, and all of the pieces stay together, right? Since we grouped it. So now the last step is we gotta name this. So what you're going to name this is your last name and then you're going to put basic wheel and click enter and it should save the name. Now for submission for Google Classroom, what you're going to do is take a screenshot of your wheel. Okay, so to take a screenshot on your Chromebooks, you're going to click control on your keyboard and then on the top row of your Chromebook you'll see kind of in the middle of that top row there's a box with two lines to the right of it if you click control and that other button so the box with the two lines to the right of it click those two buttons at the same time you'll see that it takes a screenshot and in the bottom right hand corner of your screen you'll see the screenshot pop up that it was taken now, I can't show you that on my um, computer right now because I'm using my Mac to take this video. But what you're going to do is you're going to go to Google Classroom. You're going to go to um, the basic wheel screenshot assignment that I posted. You will take the screenshot from your files, add it as an attachment, and you can click submit. All right, so that's how you post this to Google Classroom. And you just made your basic wheel. And we're going to the custom wheels next.